everybody, it's game night, and tonight we are continuing to play Raw Danger. It got quiet. Whoa! So last time we just got to this place, um, we lost Stephanie. I am trying. It will not stop rumbling. It has to stop rumbling. I can't handle the rumblies and the jumblies. There's an item in there that I do not know how to get to. Mayor Gavin Goldstein is missing. Mayor Gold. I saw the mayor. I'm interested now. Oh wait, is that what it was? Mm -hmm. No, there's something in there still. I'll take it, but I won't use it. So that one guy. Or is this different? There's two things in there. Our next story, Mayor. Dang it, how do I get that stuff? Wow, I love that. No loading screen. Yeah, I saw the mayor. He keeps saying that over and over. Equip! So I'll look like a real stupid. Mayor Goldstein was yeah. So, um, I don't know if I explained it, but... A lot of these random items are just to be silly, and they are. Like the sunglasses and Santa hat. But a lot of them, like the boots, I think the hat does too, and definitely the pants. They, um, help your dryness. Because that's what your main... That's what your main point of survival is in this game, is just staying dry. And not catching pneumonia. But, you know, fair. Uh, yeah, that's why you have to go and heat up every now and then in these places and save. You can eat food that'll keep you warmer longer. Stuff like that. Like you can see in the bottom left, my dryness is going down slowly. It will not stop rumbling. Like, seriously. I thought there was... There it is. I said, I thought there was a path. Um, yeah, but going into the water like this will affect my dryness even more. Dang it. Stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I was talking in the last episode about how... Just how different this game is, and... This isn't needed anymore. Okay. Hey, it stopped shaking. Hallelujah. But I mean, not only is this like a natural disaster evacuation game thing. Um, but yeah, like the way that it's made and how you have to make decisions and all that different stuff. It's just, it's a super unique game. And there was actually three of them that were made. But, uh, we only got two in America. The first one was Disaster Report. And then there was... Uh... Can I, like, go over there now, or...? I'm confused as to where I should be going. Yeah, the first one was Disaster Report. I've never played that, and I would love to. <laughs> I've just never... Never got around playing it. Um, this is the second one. None of them have anything to do with each other, other than they're all disaster escapey games. Uh, a jet ski is in my future, though. And then there was a third one made for PSP, but it was only in Japan. So that sucks. Okay. Yay! I gotta remember where to actually go. Alright. That's one thing about this game. I know I've gotten lost a few times because I'm barely paying attention and whoa! I know I said this before too, but this game does look really good for the time it came out. 
Not like super amazing. I mean, those textures are garbage. But, um, it's like one of those games, one of the few 3D games that still looks okay by today's standards. I mean, it doesn't, you could get really close and be like, yeah, that's, that doesn't look good. But when you zoom out and everything looks okay, I consider that good. <laughs> that's okay in my book. I think I have to ramp that. Kind of like how Shadow of the Colossus, like, it's obviously not great. We Graphics wise, but they did it pretty well. <laughs> See, like, that's disaster is happening right now. And, um, I'm gonna die from it. But yeah, that actually looks a little terrifying. Even though the water looks like garbage in this game. That's one thing I will say is garbage. Whenever the water moves really fast, it's just all like. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't look like anything. It doesn't even look like water. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. I don't think I go off. Where do I go? Ah! Okay. Uh, I was gonna say earlier, this game is really good at giving you direction too. At least these disaster these disaster parts aren't long. I mean, it's just like here's the thing, do something. Okay, go around it, and it makes you feel cool. I felt good just narrowly escaping that because <laughs> that's how they're timed. But see, that looked good. That bridge falling away looked good. Low textures abound, but... <laughs> oh, my ride! Alright. Man, this flood is really spreading. I mean, we're... We've traveled quite a ways, and there's still flood. Flood. There's still fluids happening. So I'm trying to remember if those X's are places that they're just saying, hey, the dams have broken here. I think that's what those are, actually. Because it's right on the river. I thought maybe those were saying that those were places I could have went if I picked other choices. I don't think that's the case. Okay, yeah, so this game, once you get through day one, it really flies through the days. Like, we're probably halfway through this guy's story. I would guess. A long version of his story. There is a very, very short version where it would be done by now. But, uh... Uh, yeah. And there's... I don't remember how many other characters there are. This is the only one I remember because it's so long and it's like the main one. Hmm? I want to... There's at least three. There might be like five, four or five, I don't know. Actually, I have the case right here. What does it say? Six playable characters, so way more than three. <laughs> Run, climb, jump, and crawl out of the devastated city. So the reason you probably didn't hear about this game, fun fact, it was going to be released around the time... My daughter is in trouble. Let me finish my thought, lady. Around the time that Hurricane Katrina happened. So, they had to delay it. I think lady, I said that before, but... Is also stuck on it. Please, help them. I never noticed how bad the translations are in this game. Like, I really never noticed that. They are both stuck on it. Not stuck over there. Hey! That's what you're supposed to do. Sweet. Stephanie? You're alive! Please take 
My my boyfriend. No, no. It's your turn, Stephanie. Am I? No. What is she on even? Like a gas station ceiling top thing? Beth! Screw Stephanie, let's go! Step up on this stupid asshole. You sound like it. Ooh, you didn't capitalize the cheese. Thank you very much. But the lady is still stuck. What? The what? What about the bear? An item that I probably need. I think this replaces my backpack. Yes. Ho, ho, ho. Huh. How do I get... Ooh, there's stuff down there. I seize it with my CNI vision. Ouch. Hurt myself. Ooh, there's a thing in the truck as well. Hmm? Well, I do declare it's a driving shirt. I'm going to equip that, baby. I'm finally no longer a waiter. I mean, I'm still an idiot. I look like Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Alright, how... How do, Stephanie? How do, indeed? Oh, I just go... No. Oh, my umbrella! That's what falling does. I remember that kind of now. Oops. But I got another umbrella. It's gonna keep me dry. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. Please tell me I saved the girl already. Please tell me. Tell me I saved her. <laughs> She's mine. All right. We gotta go get that shirt again. I know. That lady's still in trouble. I'm on it. We have the same voice actor. That's weird. Anyway. Huh? What? Huh? What? Ah. I'm gonna break my umbrella again. No. No. Hmm? Huh? Driving shirt. You did it! Perfect! This happens at the end of Street Fighter matches. I have this weird memory for sounds, which is, some people won't be surprised since they know I have a all music production channel, but uh, yeah, like I can remember sounds with a weird amount of detail. Uh. Like the Street Fighter thing. I just, I know every time you do the thing, it goes, you win! And sometimes it goes, perfect! Then adds up the score like Nine, eight, when you lose. And then oh, no, okay. Whatever you pick. And so yeah. <laughs> Weird memory with sounds that I'm talking about for some reason. Like as soon as I as soon jeez. As soon as I heard the menu sounds for this game when I started up, I was like, oh yeah, I remember. It's actually pretty weird too, because uh, a while back I was playing Punch-Out, trying to beat Mike Tyson for the first time, and I did. Oh man, I am amazing. Uh, but yeah, I was playing Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, and I had the TV turned down, I think, or muted, because I was doing something else. I couldn't do anything. Like, it sucked. Actually, no. That's not what it was at all. I'm gonna save the game and explain this. Uh, I have the 
TV yeah. running through what is that thing called? An upscaler, and then an HDMI to my TV, so it didn't look like garbage. And then the TV had audio coming out of the stereo system, or surround sound, or whatever. And that was making the sound come out, like, I don't know, a split second later than it would have just coming from the TV. Just so strictly to the TV. And that was the reason I was doing so badly. <laughs> I hooked, played it on my old TV, an old tube TV, and I was amazing. Like, I beat some of them within just knocking them down once, which is, I know, luck based, but still, that's, that's crazy. Memory and muscle memory works like that. Anywho, I don't know where to go. I'm making sure there wasn't that ribbon thing I was supposed to do something with. Can I walk on that, or I'm going to guess no. Anyway, we're going to go ahead in this episode here while I go try to get Stephanie, so. If you like this video, you like this series, leave a like and subscribe, because what? Oh no. Um, because there will be a new video tomorrow night. We're going to save Stefani. Stephanie Mc whatever her name is. So I will see you all tomorrow night. That's how you go on. Oh. Bye!